Mr. Speaker, sir, I also rise to take part with my colleagues in conveying the condolences to the family members who have lost their loved ones in the last six months. As a state, we have lost two leaders, late Raisin Mausor and late Salsen Simara. Late uh, Raisin Mausor was the was elected as the member of the KHA this United Kasi Jaintia Kasi Council from 1958 to 1967. Thereafter, again re-elected and was elected again in 1972 as the member of this other house. As the member of this August House, Mr. Raisin has, as mentioned by the Honourable Member from Mautinkut, well, we have very less information about him because he was the member of the this Council and the State Assembly in the very years where we were yet to be born. Sir, I therefore convey my condolences to the family members of late Raisat Bounsor and May God give them strength and guide them in the days to come when they are lost, when they have lost their loved one. May the soul of late Raisin Mausa rest in eternal peace. Sir, Coming to late Salsen Simarak. Personally, I have not and was not in politics during that term of five years. But as a citizen of the state, as mentioned by most of the leaders who have said a lot about him. Everybody has witnessed the quality of this person and it's really a great loss to the state of Meghalaya. 1972, he joined, 1970, he joined politics and the first election in 1972 when he contested, he was elected as a candidate of the All Party Hills Leaders Conference, the APHLC, from the Super Para. Much has been said, as I have mentioned just now, about this great leader. We all knew who is Ba Sarsang Marak. He has occupied different posts and held different roles and responsibilities as a leader in the state. And he is known by all for his integrity and is known for his quality leadership and is known also by the best practices that he has displayed of clean politics in the state of Middle East. He is a man of passion. He is a man 
who is very soft spoken, always show with a smiling face. And he is a man who has performed to whatever extent the wish of the people of the state. I stand here to convey my deepest condolences to the family members of late Sarsil Mala. May the Almighty God grant them strength and guide them <coughs> in the days to come. May the soul of this great leader, late Sar Singh Mara, rest in eternal peace. I also stand here to convey my condolences to all the family members for the loss of their loved ones. They must be holding different responsibilities as MLAs, as MPs, and so on. The same I convey my condolences to all those family members. May the Almighty God grant them strength and support them and guide them in the days to come. May the soul of all those leaders of our country rest in eternal peace. With these few words, Mr. Speaker, sir, I resume my seat.